Hello, this video is brought to you by Hawkeye Water Leak Defense Systems. And today is a part of our how to series and we're reviewing a variety of topics. The first will be uh, how to install and replace a new washing machine hose. The second will be reasons why washing machine hoses fail. The third is about a flood prevention hose, which is a new innovative hose which is fail safe. This means if the hose fails, the water is contained within the hose and will never spill onto the floor. Any other hose at the end of life, whether it being rubber or stainless steel braided, will leak water with the potential to continuously run unstopped at up to 8 gallons per minute. If you're away from your home, this can be catastrophic. So let's go into the reasons uh, why washing machine hoses fail. The first and most common type of hose failure is a hose burst. This can be caused by a variety of internal factors. The first is high water temperature can accelerate the rate at which the rub internal rubber will disintegrate. The second is uh, pressure fluctuations, especially if you're turning on and off your water supply valve constantly. Uh, this will expose it to this, those changing pressures. And then third is the chlorine in uh, most water supplies. Uh, that is a chemical that will eat away at the rubber over time. As a matter of fact, most manufacturers, due to this deterioration, recommend that you replace the hose every four to five years. In this case, this hose says replace every five years. This hose here, on the other hand, says replace every four years. So if you're home, you should go check this out right now and determine if you should replace your hose right away. The second most type of leak, or cause for leak, is at the crimp. The crimp has a sharp edge and can cut into the hose, causing a path for water to escape. And this can be caused by a variety of different things. First is from the washing machine itself vibrating, causing the hose to move back and forth. It can expose it to that sharp edge there. Uh, when the washing machine shuts off, uh, it'll hammer, causing a sudden jerk. And that can also loosen or expose it to that sharp edge. And then just in general for the hose, uh, the vibration from the machine and constant wear and tear moving around can cause the hose to uh, friction wear and uh, cause wall thinning. Another factor not overly common, uh, but still something to consider is if it has if the hose is exposed to or in areas where there could be rodents as they might chew away, um, thus causing a uh, thin wall or um, a point a source point for the water to leak. Going back to the crimp, another reason why crimps fail is because typically washing machines and dryers are in confined spaces and they build a lot of heat and humidity. And so that heat and humidity will uh, cause corrosion on the crimp itself, um, which can also create a, a, a source for leakage. So to that point, before you consider installing a new hose, I highly recommend you consider the flood prevention hose. The flood prevention hose is a two, dual layer hose as an internal nylon braided hose that is completely encapsulated by a, a plastic um, corrugated outer hose. Uh, one together, it is a complete system, and if, water, if the failure ever does occur in the hose, water will become, um, it, when it leaks, it'll become entrapped in the secondary hose. And then it'll start to build pressure, and then actually integrate on the flood prevention hose is a 100% automatic mechanical water shutoff device. Spraying activated, sits at the upstream size, or side of the hose, uh, near the hose, where I would connect to the hose bib. And like I said, if water does leak, the pressure will build, thus shutting off the water. So that'll help confirm, or I guess, um, should build confidence that water will never escape the system and cause any type of damage. To this point, all hoses will fail at some point in their life. This, as I mentioned before, is fail safe, so water will never leak. And like I mentioned before, on the other hoses, since they do not have this outer hose, water is completely exposed and will continually run uh, until the water is shut off, thus causing the poten potential for a lot of water damage. Another consideration about this hose is that it is actually cheaper than stainless steel hoses found in Home Depot. And it is only a few dollars more than the standard rubber hose. So that means you're getting a premium hose at a very good price and actually cheaper than what you can get a medium quality hose at. In addition, that hose carries a five year product 
uh, warranty. So if the FOS fails uh, due to a manufacturer defect, uh, the manufacturer will cover the, the, the warranty. In addition, they carry a five-year insurance policy. So if the hose does for some reason leak and cause some type of water damage, the manufacturer will pick up the insurance claim. So on top of it being a good structured hose, you're also getting the peace of mind of an additional insurance policy on top of that. So now that I've described uh, the reasons why you should replace a washing machine hose and a potential alternative, I'm gonna now go into how to uh, replace the hose. So first and foremost, you'll want to unplug the washing machine as water and electric do not go good together. Second, you'll turn off your water supply valve. Turn in a clockwise motion to turn off the whole valve. At this point, you're ready to disconnect the hoses. So at the, the valve, you'll turn counterclockwise and unscrew the first hose, the second hose. Now onto the machine itself. You'll continue to unscrew in a counterclockwise motion until both hoses are disconnected. At this point, you're ready for installation. On the panel of the inlet side of the washing machine, there are two, typically two letter indications. And that will indicate where the cold supply hose connects and where the hot uh, supply hose will connect. On this case, the cold is on top and the hot is on bottom. Next, you'll take your hose, whether it being a generic hose or the flood prevention hose, and install. You'll take the hose, turn clockwise, and tighten till hand tight. If you want, it's not recommended, but if there is water that for some reason seeps by, you can take a wrench and do a quarter turn on that. And I'll connect my cold hose here. Now I'm connected to the machine. Next, I'm going to take my cold hose, connect it to the hose bib. Once again, hand tighten. One thing to consider here is uh, for most plumbing, when you have a metal on metal connection, uh, you need to use some type of Teflon tape. Since in this washing machine hose itself, it has a rubber gasket, Teflon tape is actually not recommended as this uh, washer here will create the watertight barrier. Again, uh, clockwise motion, hand tighten. At this point, you're all connected and ready to turn on the water and test the system for leaks. So you'll turn. So both water supplies are on, and the water is active, and check for leaks. At that point, that's it. You're ready to resume normal operations, and if you go with the flood protect protection hose, you are now protected from water damage. Uh, to that point, the, this project overall, on, in levels of difficulty, is fairly easy. It should take about 10 minutes or so. Um, and it's a project that can be taken on by any homeowner or DIYer. So uh, again, a very simple project and doesn't require professional assistance for the most part. That's it. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos as such. Uh, you can also check out more of our products, our leak defense products on our website at www.hawkeyedwaterdefense.com. And there you can also pie the sows uh, directly. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.